I think you uh, you now are hinting to the, the workers in the receiving states yeah. who then have the fear that they lose their jobs because, uh, and let's be honest, it's good qualified labor from Poland coming in and other countries and it's also cheap. So what else do you want as business? There were real problems with the workers from the sending countries. I know that from my own country, for instance, we just had a scandal about Portuguese workers who had to pay almost 1,000 euro per month for their housing costs and traveling, where Whereas the, uh, uh, the one who rented the houses only had to pay less than 100 euro. It's, it looks like exploitation. It should be also profitable for the workers, of course, who are involved. And on the other end, you have these local workers. And it's difficult to prove sometimes, but on the other end, you see in, in some sectors really a kind of... Um, um, well, replacement taking, uh, taking place and, and these uh, workers uh, are dissatisfied, of course, that they do not have even the chance to um, uh, apply for a job because it's already uh, organized with subcontractors from other countries. So there are real problems. It's, it connects to what I just said, that we, have a new, we need a new balance which is also profitable for workers involved, the sending and the, the local workers, I would say. It depends on how efficient their system already is, because you have member states with very uh, efficient labor inspe inspectorates, but you have more states which have shortage of manpower and other problems.